Hey, Ultimate Iron Man fans, welcome back to another season of Ultimate Iron Man competition. So, we got our marching orders, uh, the next mission package or the next objective package is available. So, I have downloaded that now and to encode it into the computer, I have to go in here and do these funky things called settings. It's some sort of encryption thing so that the Xerox don't actually know where I'm going. So yeah, kind of cool. So I'm supposed to have um, this set to hard, that set to slow, that set to fast, that fast, fast, high, poor, few, true, hard, high, hard. Hmm. This is a uh, interesting and then normal normal true 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 so apparently this will encode us the location for uh, where our ship will send us uh, so once uh, once I hit OK here and we load this into the computer it will put me in a cryo sleep and um, launch us into a warp for I guess a couple weeks I don't know I don't know where this is so yeah here we go. Um, oh, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Well, let's go in and across the pole. Wow. Okay. Uh, well, that's quite the dream for cryo sleep. I didn't think I was going to have a dream about planets loading. And then tooltips. It's almost like I'm having a dream about loading into a video game. Ah, oh, shit. They shot me down again. Okay, well, I'm going to aim for that greenery and uh, bloody water. I can't believe it. I come out of cryo sleep and I'm in a freaking drop pod again. Okay, well, that's fine. It's fine. Damn you, Xerox. I'll get my revenge. Hopefully. Okay, so we are under the clock. I don't know. I think there's like a mission that's going to pop up for us here or something. From what I'm understanding. Um, oh, there we go. So let's go. Destroy Xenu main base. Okay, well, that's... Uh, that's... Uh, Wow, okay, um, that's all we got, eh, and we see nothing, see nothing. Okay, so, oh, wait, there's a chevron. Champion monument, okay. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, I guess we got to find the Xeno main base and destroy it. <sighs> but first things first, let's get this into our toolbar here because we are under the clock we need to find as much stuff I'm going to go into third person view sorry guys it's just right now it's easier to see ahead of me in third person view when I'm looking for rocks and stuff and I need to turn on my jetpack I'm going to turn on my light and we're going to drill a little bit here uh, I'm not really going to concentrate on getting rocks right now what I need to do is is Concentrate on getting, there's a bunch of iron, I will grab this iron though. I'm going to concentrate on, on actually getting leveled up to level 3. And by the time I'm level 3, I should have enough rocks collected that I can make a constructor. Because I, I saw I had no O2 generator and I had no uh, constructor on me. And I had no biofuel. Um, so that's that's tragic. Even if I had one biofuel, it would make this a hell of a lot easier. Even one one biofuel would actually make this potentially um, actually quite easy. But I guess that's why there's no biofuel. Now, did I actually see a... That just looks like iron. Okay, so I, I don't need to go crazy with the iron. I'm 14... Uh, I just need enough for my tools that I'm going to make. And I, it looks like some silicone over here, so we're going to grab that. 
Uh, there's probably silicone in the water, so I don't need to go too crazy with the silicone, and I need to really, really start picking everything that I can come across here. So we're going to make our way over. Uh, there is no more, at least I don't know about on this server, uh, because you can custom set the settings, but as a default, there is no real uh, grace period for when creatures start spawning i think they like spawn right away so we have potential to run into like nasties right off the bat so we got to keep our eye open and, and that's actually why i'm doing third party or a third person view right now because you can actually see a little bit further up and ahead of you it just i know it swings the camera around more okay so there's some crickets over there i'm going to avoid them And I really need to find some copper. Aha! <laughs> right when I said that. That was funny. Um, so what I'm also going to do, now that i got some copper on me, I should be able to go into here and... Do I not have enough? Oh, I need three. Okay. So, we need another copper. There's a copper over there. Because it doesn't matter, I can't I can't do anything without the base rocks first. And we're just gonna try and completely avoid these guys. I'm not gonna shoot them, I don't need to, I don't need the experience, and as long as I stay away from them, they won't go out of their way to come after me if they're far enough away. But if they if they do see me and they kind of get interested, they will come after me. And they will attack and try and kill you. They'll just keep attacking and kill you. So you got to be you got to be uh, careful of all the wildlife on the planet, even the ones that look docile. Okay, now that I'm getting into the woods here, I got to be a little bit more careful of spiders and whatnot. And I really need to find some more copper. Some more copper would really, really, really be nice. Can't pick any of that. That's deco. Okay. I just need a little bit more copper. Just a little bit more. There's water over there. And that's the other problem we might run into here pretty quick is the fact that we might overheat. But I can't really afford the copper to... Um, Oh, is that copper up there? That's copper. Okay. Looks like a couple things of copper up here. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Or is that iron? Well, whatever. So I know I said I'm not too worried about the ores, but I, I'm worried enough that... Okay, so I'm not going to go out of my way too far for the ore. I need to have enough to make at least one of these and one of these, which I do. Okay. But I want to find actually more so that I can make a couple of the uh, oxygen generators. Okay. I see another copper over there. Good, 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 good. Because right now, I, I don't need a lot of resources. I just need speed. I just need to be careful. Oh, i got to pick this stuff as I, as I go. That's okay, though. Uh, I saw we hit level 2, which is okay. I know we're almost out of oxygen, but that's okay. We've got five bottles on us, so that's okay. <laughs> and we're going to grab this. And we're going to start heading to the water now. It's starting to get a lot hotter out, and I think I have enough resources now. 17, 26, 11. We're going to pick up some here to craft what I need underwater. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, those things are ugly, and I'm going to stay away from them. Although I think they, they do attack if you attack them, but I don't think they will actually attack you if you get close to them. Oh, see, and now we're starting to get hot. We're starting to get hot, and that's why I wanted to head down towards the water. 
and we'll just switch to some oxygen here before we start suffocating. And we also need to grab a bunch of these tree thingies. I didn't grab any and we've got silicone here. So that's kind of crappy. I didn't grab any trees. I should have went and grabbed trees because I'm going to need these. And some rocks. I don't know if I can get trees in the water. I don't think I can. I can definitely get rocks, so I'm not too worried about the rock, but... Uh, okay, so I kind of derped and didn't get any trees. Do I really want to run back and get trees? I don't think so. I'll just get these crappy ones here. I don't need many. I gotta speed up though. There's a reason why I'm I'm kind of avoiding the silicone right now. I just I just don't need. Okay, so a little trick: if you get right underneath them, you should be able to. <laughs> I know it's a bit of an exploit, but you can see I'm actually not in the water. I'm actually subject to potentially overheating here. Come on, what what's going on? This used to always work. I'm not sure why it's not now. Might be one of these trees that are bugged and you just can't freaking do it. And, oh, there it goes. One. What a jip after all that. One? Oh, you can see there's tons of silicone and lots of seaweed in there, so. <sighs> yeah, okay. Well, let's. But the funny thing is, I don't need a ton. I don't need a ton of wood. Come on, come on. Okay, this used to always work before. I guess they somehow something changed because <laughs> I can't do that now. I can just barely reach it though, so that's okay. Oh come on, these things are ridiculous. Uh, okay, we're we're getting low on oxygen and time, so we're gonna start heading down here now. So, we'll grab a little bit more silicone. The only reason I'm running out of time is because of oxygen, <laughs> plain and simple. Uh, we should be able to get some more rocks down here. We should be able to get some big rocks down here. I know, I was screwing around with those trees for way too long. That could could actually be really bad for me but okay so I'm not too concerned about it cooking outside as you can see but what I need to do now is get as much of this as possible so I'm just gonna empty my hands here. I'm not sure if that makes me faster or not, and I don't want to use my um, stamina because that'll consume my oxygen more, I'm pretty sure. I think it'll consume it faster. So hopefully we can uh, hit level 3 pretty quick here so that I can make some biofuel. Come on. So this is kind of a cheesy strategy, but I mean, it's worked for me in the past, so giving it a shot again. Hopefully I don't run into a critter. That would really suck right now. Speaking of, let's move down a little bit then. We'll, uh, we'll suck up our last couple here. It's kind of scary. Kind of scary. But we want to head towards all the seaweed. 
So we'll head down over here. I've picked these. Yeah, it looks like more down here. More bang for the buck. There we go, level three. Okay, so as soon as we hit level three, we learn the portable constructor. And we don't piss around at all. We just go straight into here and we build it. Now we put this down while that's building. Because this gets critical. And we got five logs. That'll make 10 biofuel. That's fine. That's plenty. That's plenty for what I need. Uh, and the rest is plenty. That'll work out good. Uh, well, that's making that. I'm going to make another one of these afterward. So let's click that off. Uh, I don't have to worry about the food yet. That's got a long time before it expires. So I'm not too worried. Okay, come on. Whew, come on. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go like this and I'm going to make one of those instead because I still got one bottle of purified water. So that'll give me what? 30, 35 OT. Okay. Come on. Ah. <laughs> Down under 100. Come on. Whew. I never play with constructor speed this slow it's just it's so tedious but obviously I, I shouldn't say never because I am right now right <laughs> okay uh, here we go let's put this down and we're just gonna put in our logs right away and get that going actually we'll just get them all going I think we can only make 10 anyway right so okay so now it should be making our oxygen it's done good and I guess now we'll make our second condenser. Um, okay, how's our biofuel coming? Halfway. Okay. Okay, not bad. As long as I don't move around too much right now, I shouldn't consume much oxygen. Come on. Ah, it was giving me a false positive. Come on. There we go. Okay. So let's get this cooking. All that for a biofuel. Seriously, all of that was for a stupid biofuel. <laughs> all that effort and time and, and anxiousness. Okay. Uh, how you doing? Almost got my second one there. Good. How's my suit doing? It's almost got the second one built. Good. Okay, after it has that going, uh, I can make some, I can make another bandage. So I'm going to do that. I'll make a, make a couple. Yeah. And then uh, I'll pound out some uh, energy bars. I should be able to pound out a ton of them. Okay, let's get this down. And we should have a biofuel ready. Oops, come on. We should have a biofuel ready for us now. Yep. And we'll get this in here. Oops, not that. This. Thank you. And let's check our first one. How are we doing on there? 17, 16, 15, 14. Oh, no problem. No problem. Sweet. Okay. Da, 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 da. Our first oxygen, and we are above 50. We were at 62 still when I made my first oxygen. Not bad, not bad. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Um, I've been at the point where I was suffocating by the time. I've, I've died too, obviously. I mean, that can be tough. That can be tough to get that going. It's really... Uh, it's all about knowing what is where, really. I knew that there's going to be seaweed in this lake. And I, I 
I wasn't too worried about the silicone either because I could see there was silicone laying around and stuff. And I only needed a little bit of that to actually do what I needed right off the bat with these three pieces of equipment. So now what's left over is, is kind of gravy is what I call um, the next tier in what I deem as the second most necessary piece of equipment for survival. And that is actually the motorcycle. And a lot of people think it's a gun, but it's not in my opinion. And in my experience, it's not a gun. It's the motorcycle. Okay. So there we go. We got our second one and we're already almost up to uh, 200 oxygen again. And we've got a water bottle now that we can convert to oxygen but we don't really need to at this point. We've got our second set of biofuel. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dump these into my other, into these here. Okay. And how are we on time? Oh God. We, wow. We, we got plenty of time. What? Okay. 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 I, uh, I think I'm doing okay. I would say I probably got the landing down. Now, the, now what I classify a landing on an Arab planet is, is establishing your food and oxygen supply. And I did that. Um, now, another thing too, is the environment and underwater I'm protected. Um, consuming oxygen more, maybe, yeah, probably, but it's safer, um, usually safer. And I'm just gonna start swimming around a bit now. I got some some oxygen to spare. Got a little bit of luxury. I can go around and start picking some stuff and maybe try and level some more down here. Get some rocks and whatnot. Although I don't want to get too far from the oxygen because I just looked and we're already at 100 almost. Okay, so let's grab that and get some more biofuel in here. Okay. How's this doing? A couple more there. And we'll get a couple more. Three, six. So I should be able to load these things up with, with uh, about four or five biofuel each before I throw in my tent down. Now, I still got a long time to go before the tent comes out, really. I mean, I'm, oh God, what was that noise? <sighs> it sounded like, a, like something swimming near me. That, why did the, okay. <laughs> Whoo! Freaked out. That freaked me out. I don't know why. I I just had a little bit of a nervous panic attack there. Now the other thing about Iron Man is you can't die. If you die, you're out. That's it. Game over. Fini. Done. You die, and the Xerax win. You don't get to come back and keep killing them. For some reason, it uh, it just doesn't work in the Iron Man. So you're the uh, clone stations or something uh, are corrupted, and uh, that's it. You, you're not yourself when you come back. It's like you're under control by the Xerax, and it's just a, it's just a big gong show. So you know you basically lose. And let's head back because I see that we're at 50. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm 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 like I'm like pushing my luck here. Man, it's it's funny how the uh, radar shows that I'm like right on top of my equipment, but it's like miles away when you're suffocating. Okay. Not suffocating yet. I mean, it's just... We're good. We, we got the water on us too. So here, let's uh, get some more in here. So 39 minutes on that. And we got a couple of oxygen here and we'll grab those 
grab the water. We'll turn the water into uh, 022 here. And then, so that's 23 minutes, uh, 38 minutes. So we got an extra one. We'll put that in here. And I think we'll have a couple more there. Yeah, so we can do two more into here. And then one more in the other one. And that should be about the same. Yep. Awesome. Okay, so... Um, wow, I'm like way ahead of the game. I want to put my tent out right now. <laughs> like seriously. I, what the hell? Okay, so let's craft some stuff. Well, not my tent. And, oh, I used up all the biofuel. Did I use up all the biofuel? Or all the plant fibers? Crap, that was stupid. Oh yeah, I built bandages, that's why. Uh, well, I guess I'm not building that because I'm a dumbass. I got to go cut a tree down. Okay, so let's get our oxygen figured out here. We'll grab grab that and let's just finish that off. Get those working for us so that uh, that'll turn it all into oxygen for us on the run. Okay, so let's go find a tree to cut down. There should be a, something in the shallows here. Right here, let's just... Uh... Wow, there's like nothing in the shallows? Nothing? Nothing. Nothing for as far as I can see. <laughs> really? Crap. Okay, well, I guess I got to head all the way back to the trees. Nah, that's suckage. Suckage, why did I do that? <laughs> Sucks. 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 Grab some more of them. Get some energy bars. That was a derp. That was actually a huge derp. I didn't need to uh, make that last bandage. I would have been able to make the, uh, the carbon substrate. Okay, well, let's, uh, not there, we'll head this way. Well, hopefully we have enough time to head there and back. <laughs> we should, I mean, we've got a bunch of oxygen crafting, right? So, and we can pick seaweed on the way. It's not like we're wasting time. Okay. All this XP down here. Just waiting for me to pick. I don't want to deviate too far from my path because I do have an oxygen limit here. And it's okay, we're heading in the right direction rather slowly, but I don't want to put on like the afterburners and and although I can use my jetpack here and just kind of get up. I do have a bunch of food on me, so consuming my um, I just have a feeling that I probably would consume more oxygen than I should if I if I actually sprint while in water, like swim fast and, and burn up my stamina. And that's why I'm not using my stamina right now at all either. I'm just using my jetpack because it does make you go faster. <sighs> that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Freaking things. Right in the back of my head, it has to let out a, a, a funky sound that, Okay, there better not be any freaking spiders or nothing. And ooh, we're getting, we're actually getting close to nighttime here. So we got to get a tree chopped down really quick here. And get, get back.
Okay, come on. Come on. <laughs> Four, not bad. Grab this one on the run here too. Grab what we can really quick. We still got a minute or so. We've, we got enough oxygen. We've got stuff cooked in the uh, in our suit, right? So, come on. You can do it. You can do it, survival tool. You can do it. Yay! Yeah, I know I can't damage the land. I know. And, okay, so... Okay, 10. That's awesome. That'll give us more biofuel, too. Okay. Man, it gives us a chance to pick up some more uh, resources on the way. Pick up this... Uh, copper here. Okay. There should be plenty of silicone. We shouldn't have... Oh, see, there's a thing right here. Gotta chop this one down. No? Right. Come on. No? Let's step back a bit. There we go. And these things, I don't know, they just take forever to cut down two logs. That's okay. Okay. So let's, let's head. We'll, you know what? I do want to actually kind of consume some stamina here and just, and just swim fast, I think, because we're getting we're getting close to nighttime, and uh, I just want to get to my gear again here. Okay. Okay. Just settle down here, coming upon stuff we've already picked. That's fine. We don't necessarily need the XP really bad, but we do need to get through our gear. Here, let's let's take some of the oxygen that we made. Take one of our bars. The uh, when you consume your energy, it ends up consuming a whole bunch of food to replenish your energy with so you got to be aware of that you're gonna you're gonna go through a lot more food when you're using your shift key to run around with so just just be aware of that for those of you that that uh, haven't played the game before it can actually be quite detrimental so you gotta you gotta manage your your stamina consumption at early game it's it's a thing Okay, so we're no problem with just under 200 oxygen. And we've got plenty here. This will cap us right up. So that'll be too much, so we'll just grab that. We're getting a surplus going here now. And we've got our stuff here. Let's... Um, Put that in there. We can put that in there. Okay. So let's make a motorcycle. We're going to queue up a motorcycle. And then if we can, we're going to queue up a drill and a detector. Um, also, uh, I think I should go ahead and spec into I've got one constructor already I'm gonna chance just using the one constructor at this point um, oh actually you know what else I should do I should queue up where is it here I should queue up uh, what do we got we should make at least 10 more that's should be sufficient. I'm I'm not making enough for an HV. I'm just need some for my fuel for my for my gear. So that should be fine. That should be fine. Okay, so we'll let that craft up. 
And I think what I also want to do is I want to actually learn the portable heater cooler. So let's do that. That's under miscellaneous. I got 15 points left. I think the ore scanner and multi-tool might be good ones. That would leave me with nine points and then maybe shotgun. Yeah. Although, hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because we're going to spawn in a, an HV. So let's do or scanner. Because I'm feeling pretty good. Maybe we'll find some Prometheum. So that means multi tool will come in handy. And then um, shoddy. There we go. There we go. I think that's pretty comprehensive. And now what I want to do is, are you done with that? I can, can I make a or scanner in here? Oh yeah, I can. Sweet. I can make shoddy and the rest of the stuff too that I just specced into. Nice. Okay. Um, okay. Well, we got a motorbike. I think I'm going to let this brew, and I I'm going to call it an episode here. I'm going to lay down the tent. And this is a good start. We uh, we we did good. We, um, we're we not dead, right? <laughs> we're not dead. Uh, we're level three and zero deaths. So next episode, we're going to have a motorcycle built and ready for us. And we should be able to go. Uh, I want to head north. And find a water source to the north. Um, and then uh, build a base to the north so that uh, I can optimize the solar input. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to call it here. Uh, next episode, we should have a ton of oxygen and biofuel and food. And we'll have hopefully... Oh, you know what? You know what? Here, let's... Before we cut out, before we cut out, let's grab, um, now that I specced into it, let's make sure we got four copper and one iron. Mm. Yep. So we just want to spec that really quick, or build it really quick before I screw up and, and build. This is more important than the other tools at this point, I think, because it was already building the drill. So I needed the drill, but the, this is super important. Okay, now I can put the rest of this ore back and let it finish building. So there we go. Okay, guys, well, let's throw the tent out and call it a night. Well, next episode, we will have a motorcycle and we will go out exploring and try and get... Uh, a semblance of a base down, at least a pad down so that we can get up enough uh, resources and stuff to spawn out a real cheap HV to explore with and try and level with. So uh, until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome. Come on, where did it go? My cursor disappeared. <laughs> awesome day. <laughs>